This is a screencast on how to solve addition and subtraction problems by compensating with tidy numbers. So, to remind you again, a tidy number is a number that ends in a zero. Compensating is a fancy way of saying to create, to make into a tidy number by giving some extra. So let's look at an example of a question to show what we mean by this. So, if we took this first one here, let's imagine we had 27 minus 19, and we had that question there. So what we would mean by compensating um, using compensation is we would actually go 27 minus 20, because that's easier to do than 27 minus 19. So all we've actually done is added 1 to this. So this gives us an answer of 7, and then what we needed to go actually straight afterwards is because we actually need to go 7 plus 1 equals 8. And the reason we have to add that 1 is because we added 1 here, the top here. So let's quickly go back over those steps. Number 1, make into tidy number. It's the first thing we need to do. And the second thing we need to do is <coughs> take away then add extra number. So those are the two steps. So we're going to do some examples now together so that you get the idea. So here's a question in front of us. 53 take away 19. So with this question here, the first step we would need to do is go 53 and we turn the 19 into 20. Okay, and all we've done to do that is we've actually just added added 1 to that number. So then we go 53, oh sorry, the answer to that is 33, and then the last step, so we've made the tidy number, we've compensated, the last step is to go 33 plus 1, and the reason it's plus 1 is because we added the 1 there, which equals 34. Let's try another example. With this example here, it's 82, and then we have to make this number here into a tidy number, and we're going to make it 50. Now this time we've not added 1 to that number, we've added 2. So we need to keep that to the side. So 82 minus 50 is 32, and then we go 32 plus 2, because we added that 2 right up there, which gives us an answer of 34. Let's try one more example so that you can see it. This one here, 185 minus 46. So we're going to change it to 185 minus 50. So with this one here, take a moment to think about how much you've added to the 46. It's 4. So we'll just add that little 4 there, which equals, and 185 minus 50 is 135. And then we take that number, put that here, so 135 plus and then we take that one there, and we put that there, 135 plus 4, which is equal to 139. So just a reminder, here are the steps we go through. The first step we do is we create, make the second number, we compensate it into making it a tiny number, so to make it a 50. So 185 take away 50 in this one case here, makes 135. We then take that number, place it down here, 135 plus and we add whatever we added to the number to make it a tiny number. In this case, it's 4. So 135 plus 4 equals 139. Good luck with the practice problems below.